I know, this is a bit of a different setup. This is Dr. Linda Nabha. She's right here in the middle of my living room because we are committed to getting you answers to your questions, but also keeping a safe distance. She's at her home, I'm at my home, but we wanna get to your questions. So Dr. Nabha, let me start off with one from Yud Tech. He wants to know, and this was on Twitter, if coronavirus can also be sexually transmitted. That is an interesting question. We know that the coronavirus itself is transmitted in respiratory droplets and through aerosolized mist of those of that infection. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest I would suspect that yes, it's probably transmitted sexually. I think it would be very hard to control for that. I don't think we're gonna see many many studies showing that. Question two. If it is decided that people can be immune to this disease, can they still be carriers for the disease? Being immune to something doesn't mean that you can't get the infection again. You may be able, you may get the infection again and may be mild. It's been documented that people have had reinfection after mm. they've cleared the virus. Um, so I think that's yet to be determined. Question three. So when it comes to this concept of risk stratification, potentially bringing people who have had the disease and are immune to it back into the workforce, is that something that makes you nervous? A little bit. I mean, at this point, if we haven't had uh, strategies such as an antiviral vaccine, anti antiviral medication uh, that's been shown to be effective or a vaccine hasn't been uh, put in place, um, I, that does make me a little bit nervous. Yeah. And I think that the next uh, four to eight weeks is going to be very telling.